Hey guys, this is Computer Techie, and today I'm going to show you how to create a lightning special effect using Adobe After Effects. And here is just a test of what we're going to be working on today. As you can see, the lightning moves with my hand, and it disappears when I close my hands together. It's actually very simple to do, so today I'm going to show you how to do it um, in Adobe After Effects. Once you have Adobe After Effects open, you want to go up to Composition, and select new composition. Make your width eight or twelve eighty, and make your height seven twenty. So this will have a sixteen to nine aspect ratio for YouTube. For a duration, you don't necessarily need eight hundred frames, but you want a broad amount of frames to work by. And change your frame rate to about thirty. And then click OK. As you can see here, uh, you have a black rectangle. This is basically your composition. Uh, once you have the, your project tab open, double click in the open space where you can then import your video. I'm going to import the one that I used in uh, the video I just showed you. Now click on it and drag it down to your timeline. And if you scroll out or zoom out, you can see it's really scaled up. So uh, to change that, all you have to do is click on one of the small squares, hold shift, and then scale it down to its original size. And if you hold shift, it keeps the video with its original proportion. Now you want to take your time indicator and then drag it to the exact frame where you want your lightning to appear. So as you can see, my body walks into frame and my hands grasp, grasp, grasp together. And then let me go back a little bit. And you want to go to about here. That is where I want my lightning to appear. So what you want to do is select your video in the timeline and click Control D so it creates a duplicate. Now you want to click on the duplicate layer and then crop it or uh, cut it from the beginning, cut the entire beginning out to the exact frame. Select it, click Effect, go down to Generate, and then select Advanced Lightning. Now uh, on your duplicate video you have the lightning bolt in the in the center of the video first change your lightning type to strike so it only goes as far as the crosshairs will go and then you, I'm gonna change it to a teal color so click glow settings and then select uh, glow color and I'm gonna change it to a darkish teal click OK and I'm gonna make my glow radius a little bit bigger than that make it look a lot more radiant. Maybe take it up to 60. About 60. That looks good. Now hit the stopwatch next to origin and direction. And now you want to take the crosshairs at each end of the lightning bolt and place them in the palms of your hands. In this case, my palms aren't exactly visible, but just try to do it as best you can. And then all you want to do is just click next frame and just adjust the crosshairs. And as you do this, um, each as you adjust it for each frame, you can play it back and it will turn out to be a moving image. And that is how, this is pretty much a harder way to uh, do motion tracking, I'm, but I'm, I'm fairly sure this is the only way you can do it if you're dealing with lightning. So it is very time consuming even for like a seven second long video it's going to take you about 20 minutes 15 20 minutes some of some of you may be faster than me uh, but it does last longer than you would think to have to adjust this over and over again um, but um, be sure that it doesn't cross over any fingers because it might not look normal whenever you play it back and uh, if you have anything like this, where you have a big circle, uh, you just want to adjust it a little bit and the circle should disappear. So I'll just continue doing this for a little bit so I can show you guys an example of what it's going to look like whenever you play it back. So just keep adjusting it in the palms of your hands or wherever you want to do it. 
and uh, as you can see it does move with your hands until about that one point because I stopped adjusting it but uh, every time you adjust it it writes a new frame that's why you have to hit the stopwatches next to uh, origin and direction which are the uh, stopwatches for those two crosshairs and um, truthfully it's easier if you just want to do it with fingertips um, in my case it is um, so now you want to go to the very uh, frame where you want your lightning to disappear so about here here right here where my hands uh, close again I want my lightning to disappear so you want to click on the end of the duplicate video and just cut off the ending of it to that exact frame so just do it until you can't see it anymore and now if you play it back in the beginning I walk in my hands close they open revealing the lightning and my hands move around a little bit and it's not moving because I didn't adjust it the rest of the way so this wouldn't be a 30 minute long video and then I get to the frame where they dis where the lightning disappears and then I walk out of frame and um, I'm gonna cut the video off at about here where I'm not completely out of the video I'm gonna change my work area to that long and then you wanna right click in the work area or you don't necessarily have to go back to the first frame click on composition then select make movie down here you should have your render queue next to output to you wanna double click the yellow text and then select the folder you wanna save it in it's already selected desktop so I'm gonna give it a name I'm gonna call it mm, lightning effect test then click save and now you want to click on render and as you can see there's a small yellow bar that is loading along a gray long loading bar and this is probably going to take a long time for it to render so I'm just going to speed up the video until it's done with Alright, so now that it is finished rendering, you can go ahead and close Adobe After Effects if you'd like to, or you can just save the project. I'm not really going to, um, so I'll just close it. It's being really slow right now, so I'll just minimize it. Okay, so as you can see up in the top left-hand corner, it has created my video, and it's going to be a very large file. Uh, even if it's a short video, it's always um, going to be a large file if you render it in Adobe After Effects. I don't know why. And because it's a large file, it's commonly going to have a really slow p playback whenever you play it in Windows Media Player or whatever. So what I recommend doing is once you've edited a video in Adobe After Effects, um, I want you should re-render the video in another video editing software because if you convert it to an mp4 it's going to be like 10 megapixel or megabytes instead of like 400 and therefore it's going to have a faster playback time okay so that looked good and uh, I guess that's it if you have any questions about uh, this feel free to leave me a comment or send me a message I really appreciate it thanks <laughs>